Hello, this is Grandma's Gone Gaming. I'm bringing you episode 19 of Are We There Yet? We have uh, some changes made inside of this uh, house here in the village, um, but I'm not going to go into those right now. We're going to go outside and look at the changes that have actually occurred. Actually, we should sleep. I'm not sure how long it's been since I slept and whether or not the uh, phantoms would be there, but as you can just see right there, there was a villager trying to get in here at the door and then it got daylight so he came back outside but yeah this is one of the uh, this is the Fletcher he's one of the farmers so he's up here working hard so one of the first things that you can see here is uh, the library has been changed it is now a two-story edifice I took this out it was like two layers up here and was hard to get back and forth between the two this door this one that one here are not uh, countable as valid doors. One, two, three outdoor spaces, and inside we have one, two, three, four in, uh, inside spaces. So that means that, yeah, it is not a valid door in that it won't offer protection. If the villagers get up here, they're more likely to stand around outside here. Um, whereas these have plenty of outdoor space here, and yes, it is an unbalanced space here, but it's not. Uh, my original understanding is that that's not even valid. It has to be outdoor space that is more than indoor space, but that may or may not be actually the case, but at least those three doors do not offer uh, protection for the villagers because they get confused about uh, whether or not they should go inside and get protected or not because they think that's the outside over there. All right, so upstairs here, we have uh, what I'm going to eventually put some bookshelves and stuff back into. Right now, all my bookshelves have been used in the uh, temple for uh, for my enchantment room, but uh, I'm working on getting more of those done. I'm going to need to get more leather or find more books. So anyway, out here, we have um, the pathing, I think, is all done pretty much. I didn't put any dirt around here. Some of them have dirt around, some don't. Some of them you'd want to stay on until you got to the dirt. Uh, the pumpkins are planted here as before, but they are now protected. Um, also, I had already, uh, before Shannon uh, brought to my attention, the fact that the villagers could jump up here, then jump up on top of that first block glass and get up on top of the wall. Um, um, I actually had put in my game before doing another episode, I had put um, the rock wall up here, the cobble wall, and so they actually would have just got been able to get up here and walk around, but still, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, better to have the protection there. So that's done now, and over here we have, um, I, when I like the front of that, the library house there, I like the way that kind of looks like a, a two-story mansion there. Um, here we have some little houses that I didn't uh, try to be real fancy about. I basically used some of the patterns of the small ones, but they're just you know, two layers high inside. They have lights. They have eight doors around them on most of them, and all of them are valid doors. I've been getting a lot of this and making paper out of it for trading and for making books down the line. So we have increased a lot of the doors up here in this part of the village and at first, I wasn't getting any more villagers up here from down at the corner, but as you can see, there's a guy here, there was a guy over there, and there are probably a couple more over in another garden, um, and I'll, I'll explain more about that in a few minutes. I also have uh, the gardens protected so that nothing can ruin the farmland in here. I can jump and hop. Now, the little guys, when the baby villagers are born, they might be able to hop in here, but... Anyway, the golems can't walk through if when we get golems. We should be able to get golems now. Um, there are enough doors. The guys may be not be quite may not quite quite be happy enough, or I might need to add a few more doors. We'll see, but I'm not going to obsess over it. Maybe over time we'll get that done. There's plenty of room up here for like a big boarding house or something. Um, these these are places where I've gone underground, and I'll explain more about that in a few minutes also. Try to get all this done. All the houses are done here. The farms are done. The farms uh, are being well kept. If I were to take all this out, a farmer would come and tend them. So the farmers are doing their jobs, but they're also very well fed. So they aren't, 
you know, being the, the gardens aren't really being de uh, destroyed or not destroyed, but um, tended to excess. <laughs> huh? Is that the same Fletcher or is that a different one? I thought I only had one Fletcher, but I thought he was still over there. So I did count 13 villages villagers earlier when I was in here playing. Uh, my son and I, son-in-law, were I were counting them, and we found four clerics, uh, four farmers of one kind or another. Um, there is a library. Oh, no, this is so. Oh, this is an armorer, and I didn't find him. So I may have up to 15 now. Not sure. There may have been babies. I thought I heard babies a couple times, but then I couldn't find them. But this is one of the four clerics now. There's a shepherd. There are definitely three shepherds. And see, there is another Fletcher over here. Look here. Let's look at this guy. Yep, two Fletchers at least. And a shepherd there and a shepherd over there. That was the cleric. Cleric. Um, okay, this guy, shepherd. And that guy's a sh I have three shepherds, uh, two Fletchers at least, and maybe another one. Somebody go in there? Nope. Oh, I like this one, because you can see out here on that side. Um, I decided to go with the full-length window over there. Now, yeah, that one Fletcher keeps coming up here and uh, tending to the beets. I have some decorations in here, not a whole lot. Yeah, I don't see the Fletcher up here, so that may be the same one. So, that, Nope, look here. Let's take a look at this guy again. He's still here. So we have... No, this is the leather worker over here now. Okay, well, he switched. Leather worker, armorer, two Fletchers, <laughs> three Shepherds, librarian, cartographer is here somewhere. <laughs> anyway, lots of nice villagers, but not enough to get a golem because they had more than 10 to start with, so they would have to hit the 20 mark in order to get another, to get a golem and possibly get two at that point. I'm not sure how that works. But anyway, yeah, so we're all ready. And uh, I may have to add a few more doors. Okay, so now, I was going down to find out what was going on, that the villagers weren't coming over this way, and the first thing that I did was go down here and check. Actually, it started here at one point. Hello. Is that the cartographer? No, it's the librarian. Um, it started up there further, but then I added the stairs and had to move it over one spot. And I was looking for... I need another light up there. I was looking for the, the bottom of the well, which is actually right in here, and it's right here. And I did check it by digging in right here, and then digging the hole, and all the water is down here exactly like it should be. So there's no problem with that. Since then, I have gone down because my son-in-law remind, reminded me that uh, since I was hearing uh, villagers groaning in the middle of the uh, of the village, very close to the this side of the uh, of the well, the side closer to my home, the big house there, that um, it was probably the fear factor keeping the villagers over to the other side of the well, and that that actually did turn out to be the truth. So I have done quite a few. This goes up, and actually I've covered that with sand again now. Let's go ahead and fill that in. Sand fell here when I was digging. And there are a lot of places like this while I was at it. I just went ahead and got resources. This actually comes back around here, and I have another place here. Um, I have this charted so that I know where to come because there's something here that I wanted to show you. The first thing I did was I came down the stairs from wherever it was right up there that I just came down. It's very close. And um, heard spiders and was accosted by a couple of uh, creepers and a couple of skeletons. And so I wasn't quite sure what kind of... Uh, a dungeon I was going to find, but here it is. I ter just torched it real quickly and left it. Haven't done anything else to it. Didn't even check in the chest. So here we are. <laughs> After I already planted all of the uh, pumpkins, we have more pumpkin seeds. Hey, some nice... Come on, you're supposed to come out with me. All of you. Come on, I'm holding the shift key. This should have all come out. Okay, uh, yeah, string and a little bit of iron and, ooh, a name tag. Nice. And some gunpowder. 
which I've been collecting a lot of. The iron horse armor, that's nice. We, we find some horses, that'll be great. And a loaf of bread, nice. And we're going to take that out. I didn't need to do that. And what do we have over here? Some more things to trade. Ooh, another golden apple. Can I pick all of this up? I'm not sure. Um, probably not. Let's just try. And what did I leave behind? And what do I want to leave behind? We'll leave the bread behind. And, oh, I have hoppers in here for a reason. Um, and I want to show you, actually, I won't show you that because what I got the hoppers for is that we're going to turn this into what Shannon wanted to see, a spider spawner. And this is the easier kind to work with, the one that I had in one of my other worlds that I went and looked at and then I did some revising and my uh, daughter Judy helped me figure out how to make it a little better than what I had. Um, this is just These are just regular spiders, so that actually is a little easier to work with. Um, can I eat anything? I can't. Um, so yeah, you know what? We have these cases right around over here. So these are things that I didn't take up with me before, and I probably will eventually. So let's go ahead and put in let's some coal down here with the extra torches. And since I don't have any other food down here, we'll just put that down here. And let's see what else we can we can pick up these other things now. And we could leave that bucket down here for an emergency. There we go. We'll leave that there. And everything else can go back up with me to be put away. We might want to leave these down here too, just in case. All right, so there we go. So that is ready to work on. And I will do that because it really doesn't take anything special. We'll do that. Um, um, on tape, so to speak. That's bothering me there. It's been bothering me since I first saw it there. Okay, so now the other thing that I wanted to show you that I found is a fossil. And we're going to go ahead and just teleport there because I can't remember exactly how I got there. <laughs> so we're going to go to minus 478, 44, 1672. And we're down here underneath the desert now, desert hills. And I came around this corner here. I was working over there. There's an underground ravine over there. And this is part of what was keeping the villagers over in the corner because we are directly almost right now underneath my house. And we're only down here. This is at layer 43, and it does go up and down around. So we had villagers and all sorts of stuff down here. And the villagers were groaning, and the not villagers, you know what I mean, zombies, and the zombies were groaning, and the villagers did not like it at all, and you can see how high up it goes over here. So yeah, it was that was what was keeping them out of that side of the village, and that has now been rectified, and they are moving over that way quite nicely now. So we, this is a fossil. There's the, there are the bone blocks, so I intend to make some sort of a display out of this. I will not remove it from here. Um, we're not going to even take that coal out. We'll get grab that iron though. Uh, I think that the, the single things of um, coal like that are usually part of the bone system. You know, do, we'll see what it looks like when I get it kind of isolated and whether or not we'll take any more of that out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to work on that. So we have a new thing there. Of course, that's not new into the game, but it is new to us at this point. So let's see if we can find our way out. I know it's around here somewhere. I know. I'm pretty sure that I had to go down here to get back up again. And it doesn't matter if I can't find my way out because I'll teleport my way out. No, it looks like I'm just going to go in a circle here. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and boy, there was a lot of stuff down there by that water, I'll tell you that. I'm not sure whether this comes out or not. No, this is an end here. And yeah, yeah, down the steps. There we go. Now, there's all sorts of stuff that goes back I think where I was I'm not sure let's see oh and this thing these I thought this came from like the river and I was climbing up it and trying to find out what was up at the top and everywhere I went in this flow look at this I have already down there um, yeah I don't want to throw anything out but I'm not, I don't need any. I have two 
and almost three complete stacks of ink sacs because they the squid are spawning here and it is not an outdoor thing. This is another part of the tunnel that's actually, you know, very close to the surface. So look at all these ink sacs. Every time that I come up here, the squid are just spawning right up here and that's all they are. They're, that's source blocks right there. It is not from the river or anything like that. They're just spawning right there. And they keep falling down here and dying, and there's ink sacs all over the place. It's a natural trap. So this would be a great one for the MHC. <laughs> you wouldn't have to worry about getting him. So let's see if we have another way out of here. I don't think so. I think this one just kind of ends up back there again. So anyway, that's basically all the other scene. Basically all that I wanted to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and teleport back to the house. Um, which is at and uh, my I have my allergies going on and my right eye is running like crazy. Ah, uh, okay, minus four thirty six, um, seventy two, fifteen seventy, and uh, ready. Here we go, and we are home again. So yeah, I have also increased my storage space here. There's some things over here that I want to take over to the temple. Most of this stuff probably eventually. Um, extra arrows, which I can use now. Um, I, I keep, so far, being able to um, use the anvil and keep upgrading my bow and my uh, sword there. So, And I did use the two diamonds that I did find to help that one get back to health a little bit. But but yeah, I'm, I'm uh, running low on... I don't have any more diamonds. So I need to find some more. So that's the next thing I'll be doing probably is just going and doing some mining. Let's see, we have food there, food there. I don't have a lot of coal. I, I've found a few things here and there, um, but I ran out of it about as fast as I can find it because I've been making stuff with iron like crazy. Yeah, you know, like the hoppers for one thing. Okay, so let's put these away into place with other food for now. Um, most of these will go on over let's put that there uh, to where I have the potions and stuff and I don't I don't necessarily want to breed it. I mean you know make you know find any zombie uh, villagers out here and convert them. I kind of want to want them to generate by themselves you know maybe later we'll see how that goes. Okay we don't have any bread in here so we'll just put some here. And, whoops, need that one. We have lots of baked potatoes now. And I don't have an armor or horse armor place yet, but I have lots of paper here to make into things and lots more things to trade with the villagers. So eventually we'll we should have them on track for for um, you know breeding and all that kind of stuff. I don't need this yet. Let's see, we have drops here, you know, mob drops. So we'll put this over here along with that. Um, I do have a chest for gardening, so I'll put that there. String goes in here. Um, this and this are going to be to develop that that uh, skeleton sp uh, excuse me, the spider spawner. So yeah, rather than going mining, that'll be the thing that I do next in episode 20. So I want to thank you for watching and uh, Hopefully we will actually get to see those golems arrive here. Um, I will, you know, keep a watch for them and stop and do a video uh, if we get to the point where they're going to appear. So again, thanks for watching and bye for now.